Hey guys, Kevin Cleary here with a gear video for you. And this is going to be the top five ways to carry your junk around. Uh, and so if you're you know, into gear like I am, you probably carry around a bunch of stuff on your person and then maybe you carry some other stuff in a gear bag as well or an EDC bag or whatever. Um, or if you go to work, I, you know, I carry a bag to work with papers and books in it and stuff anyway, so I just choose a bag that's appropriate to carry the other stuff that I want. Uh, so let me start off by pointing out that there's some questions you're going to want to ask. Number one is, what do I have to carry? All right, so um, like most people, you're going to have wallet, cell phone, and keys, and that's going to be almost universal, right? Most, almost everyone is going to be carrying at least that. Now on my keys, I do have a pry tool and uh, a little SD inner. Um, that I find helpful. I don't carry in my wallet anything other than uh, cards, but I do carry a minimalist wallet that does have RFID uh, blocking uh, web inside of it. Uh, in addition to that, in my pockets and stuff, I carry uh, my pager, uh, I carry a multi-tool, I carry a knife, this one happens to be the, the Spyderco Magnitude, and the multi-tool there was the Leatherman Skeletool. Um, my, my light today, uh, I normally carry a light. This is a jet beam. I'm carrying this one mostly for review. I often carry uh, an UltraTac K18, even smaller than this, but um, this one has been pretty good, and I probably will put a review up on this, guys, you know, in the next, I don't know, maybe next week sometime. Uh, so maybe you're watching this long after, that's fine too. Uh, so. How are you going to carry it all around? You want to be comfortable. You want to be able to move. Uh, I, you know, if I, I've got stuff to do, I have work that I have to do. I, I like, like to be a certain amount of, uh, I like to have a certain amount of mobility, uh, especially, you know, as I say, if I get a fire call, I need to know that, you know, I can kind of run out the door, hop into my bunker gear and, and go and not be overly encumbered by a bunch of junk. Um, so uh, first thing you want to think about, and now, now, um, so yeah, the first thing you want to think about, let's get back to the point I'm making here, is what is it that you carry? Now maybe you carry all the same stuff as I do, maybe you carry more, maybe you carry a little less. Uh, a lot of you watching are from the US and so you may have concealed carry permits and be able to carry a gun on your person. Uh, maybe you carry pepper spray or something else. If you have uh, specific things to do with your job or, uh, and I mean this is a part-time job, but uh, really volunteer. Um, so maybe you have something like that to carry around for your job. Uh, or maybe if you have a pet, you carry bags or treats for the pet. Um, obviously, those are more specifically suited to dogs. Uh, so what is it that you've got to carry? And then the second question is, where do you carry it? Do you do a job where you're kind of in and out of a truck all day and you're all over the place? Or are you more like me? I go to my office. I don't have a lot of places outside of my office to go. I do a bunch of visits usually in the afternoon, but then I can keep like an EDC bag in my car or whatever. Uh, so what, what kind of job do you have? Or do you have a job where you park your car and then you're out? You know, maybe you have to hike a long way or maybe you have to, you know, you work in construction and you're on a job site that, you know, it's a long walk from the parking lot. And so whatever you've got on your person, that's really it for the day. Um, so you got to think first, what do I want to carry? And then where do I have to carry it, right? Uh, now, the last question and the focus of this video is how? How am I going to carry all this stuff? And so there are a number of things and I'm kind of going to work my way from most minimal to, you know, larger. And so starting off with just a pair of pants. Now these are 511 pants. And the great thing about these is just all the pockets. So uh, these have cargo pockets, plus inside of these are sleeves so that you can separate your stuff. They, they say they're for magazines, but I use it for, I mean, to put a knife in here or cell phone in one so that it's protected from the other stuff in that pocket. Um, then these also have, in addition to your normal hip pockets, they've got these little pockets, which are actually quite deep. These carry a knife quite nicely. They carry a flashlight quite nicely. They carry... Uh, this really really well uh, normally that'll be clipped on there um, plus you know you've got your back pockets and some fairly wide straps uh, so uh, some kind of a tactical pant I know the term is a little silly but the idea is usually those have capacity to carry more stuff and carry it more comfortably than your average pair of Dickies work pants or whatever okay or even your pair your average pair of uh, blue jeans uh, plus, they can often be quite comfortable. So uh, the pants that you choose, the clothing you choose, that's one easy way. Wearing cargo pants all the time is one easy way to carry some stuff around. Now, in addition to cargo pants, maybe you want to wear a tactical belt. I mean, a belt at all. But I find a tactical belt, if you're going to clip anything at all to your belt, this is much, much more comfortable. I've worn belts for a long time like everybody else. Um, I Once I started 
carrying a little more gear, I switched to a tactical belt and it makes all the difference. And of course, for you guys out there carrying firearms that are watching this, you know this even more than uh, most other viewers. So uh, a belt like this that can be, have stuff clipped onto it, I normally clip. Uh, yeah, let's go to the next one. Uh, so the next thing is uh, some kind of EDC pouch. I use this Skin Solutions pouch. Maxpedition has like reams of these, like a million different sizes. I like skins because they have a little more versatility. So you can pick a particular model and then you can say, hey, I want this kind of clip on the back. I want this kind of closing mechanism, stuff like that. It gives you some variation, which I really like. Um, but the weight is maybe a little longer for some of the skin stuff. Uh, so uh, an EDC pouch, that's a great option. So I'm not going to recommend a uh, uh, fanny pack or something like that. Uh, but something, this is pretty minimal and I can often carry this and throw my shirt over it and no one even knows I have it on my body. So it's pretty comfortable uh, and pretty minimal. The other option that I have with this is if I'm carrying it, uh, I can clip this to, you know, webbing on a bag or something like that. So I could take it off of my body and put it somewhere else for a certain amount of time if I need to do that. So we've got pants, belt, uh, some kind of clip-on pouch that you get from an, any number of places. So what about bigger stuff? Now, now we're kind of transitioning. So I, I have and often do carry a backpack. This is nice. It has a sleeve for your laptop. Uh, and so maybe in addition to all this other stuff, you carry a laptop or a tablet or something like that. Uh, maybe you carry, you know, solar power or a battery pack. Um, and those kinds of things, I think you get into something like this. I'm not going to, you know, this is just a Swiss gear backpack. Uh, it's serving as an example. But there are tons of great backpacks out there. And let me say this while we're kind of at this juncture. Um, for a long time, I carried a laptop bag or a backpack that just came from wherever, Walmart or a department store or the mall, didn't really care. Um, but I've had a lot of those break on me over the years. Uh, the, the one I just showed you, the strap is coming loose. Um, and I don't know about you, but I hate, that. I can't stand having to replace something all the time because it's breaking, it's coming loose, it's not doing its job anymore. So that's one of the transitions I've made more recently is that the bags that I'm carrying now are a little better quality and that makes a big difference. So um, if you're going to carry a backpack, you know, sure, go ahead and check out your local Walmart or other department stores, but then you may want to think, hey, let's let's see what Amazon's got. Is there something from 5.11? Is there something from Maxpedition uh, or other companies that I could carry that would be a little more durable? And likely, you'll be glad that you did, okay? You know, yes, it's a little more expensive, I know, but oftentimes the performance that you'll get is well worth it. Uh, and so that brings me to this bag. This is an EDC bag, and this is my work bag. Uh, it's a wrapped on messenger bag and it works really, really well. It has a ton of different pockets uh, in, in a lot of places. It has, you know, it allows me to put a lot of specific things in a specific pocket. So I always know where it is and so that it's protected from everything else. Uh, but this is kind of standing for, it's not big enough for most laptops. It would fit a tablet really nicely. Uh, but this is kind of standing in for the laptop bag. And I think the laptop bag is a great option if they're well done. This one has done the strap in such a way that I can throw this over my shoulder and I can run with it. I have, my hands are free. I'm not constantly doing this thing where you're pulling the backpack up over your, I mean, you're pulling the bag up over your shoulders over and over again. That gets really tired really fast. Uh, so a bag like this, a messenger bag or a backpack, uh, those two are my next step. And then finally, let's step up to one size even larger. And this is more of a duffel bag size. So this is the 511 duty bag, I think they call it. It has a bunch of pockets on it. It has tons of space inside, uh, space on the top of the lid and space in here. So something like this, this works really well, um, especially if you ride around in a vehicle all day. Uh, now I, I have carried this back and forth to work for a few weeks and it worked really well for that role but it's just a teeny bit big for that. I found it difficult if I was, you know, say carrying, in the morning I may have my breakfast with me and a cup of coffee, and, and that bag would be a little awkward compared to the wrapped on bag that I just showed you a minute ago. Uh, but those, and so a duffel bag again is a really good option. Now the, the advantage of, of a bag like this is 
if you're the kind of person who's got different stuff with you every day, maybe one day you go to the gym after work and so you say, I'm gonna back up here so you can see the whole thing. Yeah, so maybe one day you go to the gym after work and you say, hey, I'm gonna put my gym clothes in here, you've got room. Maybe, you know, you're, you're a knife guy like me and you say, I'm going to my friends after I'm gonna sharpen his knives, so I'll throw my sharpening gear in here. Uh, you can, you know, sometimes I'll carry a fixed blade or a large flashlight or a whole bunch of other things like that. Uh, that all kind of fits. When you have a duffel bag, that gives you that option of extra versatility. Where this bag, you know, I have one setup and I have a little bit of extra room in the main compartment, but that's it. I could carry a couple books and that would be about the, the limit of, of extra allowable stuff in there. So there you go, guys. Top five ways to carry your gear around. Number one was cargo pants, okay? Number two, some kind of a, a belt to clip your stuff to. Number three, uh, a pouch, an EDC pouch like you get from Maxpedition, or in this case, case it's from Skint Solutions. Uh, then we went into bags and, you know, a backpack or a messenger bag, uh, and then something larger like a duffel bag. So those are my top five ways to carry your stuff around. I hope one of them works for you. I hope you've gotten some good ideas. What I'd like to hear from you guys is, especially if you've tried some stuff that maybe others haven't tried, uh, stuff that can... Uh, to, that can be really versatile, stuff that has just performed really well for you. Um, maybe, especially if you carry something more expensive that someone might go, ah, oh, gee, I don't know if I want to carry that. It, it costs a lot of money. Uh, let us know in the comments how some different things have worked for you and, and what you found really, really helpful. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you can carry all your stuff easily and comfortably, and that allows you to be ready for whatever your day brings with it. Uh, enjoy. Enjoy the rest of your day and we will talk to you soon.